Wow, I'm so excited to just straight up go as David Hasselhoff for Halloween. Hey friends, what is up? I'm Kat, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am coming at you with 25 DIY Halloween theater, Broadway, off-Broadway, theater kit approved Halloween costume ideas! Spooky jazz hands. I love Halloween. Like, I love the fall and I love winter and I love the holidays, but I feel like Halloween is the theater kid holiday. Because we're the people who choose to put on a costume, become a character, and run around wreaking havoc every day. Not just once a year. Public service announcement! I've done a handful of other Broadway Halloween costume idea videos in the past, so if you're still looking for some more inspo at the end of this video, I'll link those in the description box down below. And I'll include my entire Halloween playlist if you're looking for some Broadway Halloween tutorials, stuff like that. Click down there. I am so excited for today's video because I raided my closet, I raided my friend's closets, I raided my family's closets, and most of all, I got real creative working with what I got. So without any further ado, please enjoy 25 DIY Theater Geek approved Halloween costume ideas. 2019! Okay, if Zach Levi is going to bring me ice cream, can it just be the Americone Dream from Ben & Jerry's? Because then it's like my two favorite things. That's my branding. Truly, I think this might be the best Halloween costume of all time. You get to be in your pajamas, you get to be Laura Benanti, and you get ice cream. Honestly, who doesn't want to be brought ice cream by Zach Levi? Hang out with Jane Krakowski. Gavin Creel has a cane for fashion reasons. <laughs> Again, I truly believe that the best costumes are those that allow you to have a food or a beverage prop. You know, you can have a slushy or a salad bar. Revive hair already, you cowards. For real, I was so disappointed when Hair Live on NBC got canceled. Not because I necessarily think we need a network version of hair, because we just need hair now more than ever. Why is she so dirty? I mentioned this in a Les Mis video earlier this summer, but can anyone solve the problem? Why is Eponine like 20 times dirtier than any of the other French peasants in every production of Les Mis? I mean, realistically, she's probably one of the only cast members who isn't going to quick change into a different character, so she has the ability to be like, like, oh yeah, Eponine's gonna be so dirty today, she just fell in a pile of mud before the scene started. Adams is kind of the perfect theater kid Halloween costume. You still get your theatery goodness in, you get to be Krista Rodriguez for the day, but you don't have to keep explaining who you are to like the normal people. Who wants to watch The Princess Bride? I love Martha and I feel like she does not get enough love, okay? She is a queen, she is kind, she's a good friend. Also, hot take. I feel like the difference between a good production of Heathers and like a great production of Heathers is based off of how good their Martha is. I feel like that is a character that can make or break the show for me. Hot take. Protect Martha. This is such a great Halloween costume. It's simple. Spring Awakening is a fantastic show. You get to hold flowers. You don't have to wear pants. Yay, no pants. Get your papes. Get your papes. The poor guy's head is spinning. Honestly, right now, I kind of look like every girl in every middle school musical when they run out of guys for ensemble scenes. Congrats on the engagement, Laser Wolf. You'll get her gassed on. But Nathan, where's the crap game? That's the vibe I'm putting out right now. I have seen like 20 productions of Les Miserables School Edition where their Kufarok looks exactly like this. Yeah, I'm Kufarok now. That's just, that's, that's the vibe I'm doing. I'm, I'm Kufarok. Call me Kufarok. Handsome Italian man, catch. Oh, sh 
I know that I've dressed up as Clara before in other Halloween videos, and I will continue to dress up as Clara until one of you guys casts me in Light in the Piazza. Charlie says this will be a really popular costume this year. Hot take. I personally really like it during Assassins when they don't use prop guns for the entire show and only have prop guns for the final scene. See, if I was ever in like a Halloween town sort of situation where I was cursed to become whatever I was wearing for Halloween, I would 10 out of 10 be dressed as Anastasia because then I would just become Christy Altimore and that's like the best life ever. My little makeshift music box over here is actually what I store my cotton rounds in in my bathroom. Theater magic! I'm the season's most controversial costume. I'm TikTok. I have never felt more old than in this moment. For the record, I know almost nothing about TikTok. I don't have a TikTok. In fact, the very first TikTok I watched all the way through was when one of you guys sent me Howie Mandel from Deal or No Deal lip syncing along to Heather's The Musical with a puppet. Really? Ooh, question, are you loving or hating all of these popular musicals on TikTok? I mean, from my point of view, I've never tried TikTok, but I like the idea of musical theater getting more exposure. But I also know that some younger members of the Theater Thursday fam, the like middle school, high school group, feel very, very frustrated by it. I'd actually like really love to hear your opinion on this whole thing. Okay, beside the fact that um, this look is not doing anything for me, I will say that the Oklahoma revival is maybe one of the most stunning pieces of theater I've ever seen. So many incredible reimagined moments, you know? I want to talk about it, but I don't want to spoil the show. No, don't! But it's my cue. So does the cute cowboy come with the costume, or do I get that separately? Because I would like Damon, please, if he's available and would like to go trick-or-treating with me. <laughs> You know how super fans like ask Taylor Swift to prom or like, will Chris Pratt go to homecoming with me? This is me being like, Damon, will you do me the pleasure of trick or treating with me? This is so dumb. Oh my God. No, stop it. Not yet. I'm not even, are you kidding me? If you know, you know. Please let me play Lori in Oklahoma. is thinking about dressing up as Lydia for Halloween or any other event. I just did a full tutorial on her. I think I posted that last week. I hope that someday somebody loves me as much as I love sheltered Sondheim Sopranos. Be free! Okay, hang on. Oh my god, I literally look like the Beast from Beauty and the Beast. Hang on, I'm gonna try to fix this. I'm trying real hard to make this work and it's um, it's not going great for me. It's now making me question all of the years prior that I've gone as Hermione and dressed similarly like this and I thought I looked really good and maybe I didn't. That's what I'm realizing. Okay, this is a little bit better without the robe on. I mean, my hair still looks like community theater beast. Face in the mirror, I close my eyes and you disappear. That's uh, that's David Hasselhoff in Jekyll and Hyde, if you didn't catch the reference. Wow, I'm so excited to just straight up go as David Hasselhoff for Halloween. Okay, I know it's not a musical, but who else is obsessed with The Politician on Netflix? Classic Ryan Murphy writing an entire episode devoted to Assassins the Musical, and Ben Platt sings like 20 times per episode, so. See, the fun thing about Godspell is that you can wear almost anything you want and it'll still be Godspell. <laughs> Also, please pretend that this is not a ukulele and a very tiny guitar. Guys, I just wanted to let you know that this is officially a Hades Town Stan account. Like, we're only gonna talk about Eva Noblezada from now on. And what's so interesting also is that when I first listened to the album, I really enjoyed it. It was the old album, not the new one. But I didn't realize what it would become to me once I saw it. I think it really had to be one of those shows that I had to experience first for it to just like change my life. And it did. It was like the most beautiful show I've ever seen in my life. And if you have an opportunity to see Hades Down either on Broadway or when it goes on tour, do so. Seriously though, I think I'm gonna go cry over Hades Town now. Okay, bye. I am a glamour cat 
which is definitely not a prostitute cat. It has pockets. I think this might be the best makeup I've ever done. If you guys want a full cat's makeup tutorial, I have that on my channel, you can check it out here. <laughs> I look like I've been eating Flaming Hot Cheetos. Side note, Warner Brothers claimed my cat's trailer reaction video, so I have no control over that video anymore, which is a shame because... Do they have people teeth? Okay, so this costume is like oddly specific, but go with me on it. If you have rehearsal or school on Halloween, dress up as your director or music director or choir director or choreographer. It's always a huge crowd pleaser and super easy to throw together last minute. Have a copy of the script you're working on, try to match your outfit as well as you can to theirs. More than likely, they've probably got a pen in their hand and a cup of coffee in the other. Of course, if you are dressing up as someone you know, make sure to be doing it out of love and not coming from like a mean place. I know that none of you you guys would do that, but I felt like I should say that. Super cute, super easy, super original, and a great inside joke. Because like, would it really be a full Halloween tutorial if I didn't attempt to do Veronica Sawyer? Honestly, any Halloween costume that allows you to wear a scrunchie is great. It's ga, Linda. With a ga, <gasps> you'll be popular. Just not quite as popular as Carol Lindsay with a ga. Well, so there you guys go. Those are 25 DIY theater geek approved Halloween costume ideas. If you guys need some more Halloween inspo, I'll leave some other videos and a playlist in the description box down below. So be sure to click on that and check that out. Also, if you're new here and you still haven't hit subscribe, what are you doing? Join the cult. We're a Broadway internet cult. I don't think I mentioned that earlier, but um, I'm mentioning it now, so <laughs> join the cult. You can follow me at Kath underscore Steel, you can subscribe to my vlog channel, or you can just be my friend. Okay, Kat. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg, and I'll see you guys next time. Happy Halloween. Mm -hmm.